Want to speak real Russian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at RussianPod101.com. Ten lines you need for introducing yourself. Da -da 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 -da! Let's begin. Меня зовут Катюша. My name is Катюша. Меня зовут. My name is. So when you meet someone for the first time, as we probably talked about it before, you say your name. We can practice. Hi, my name is Katisha. What's your name? Oh, nice to meet you. Мне лет. I am years old. Uh, maybe you don't really want to discuss your age, but if somebody asks you, you should answer, for example, 18. Мне 18 лет. How old are you? Сколько тебе лет? I'm 102 years old. Мне 102 года. Be careful with Russian because as you just noticed, I didn't say лет, but I said года, years can differ from which, which numbers do you use. It depends on which uh, age you say. So be careful. <laughs> Tricky Russian, yay! Мне очень нравится слушать музыку. I like listening to music. So I enjoy or I like is мне нравится. And then you can say what you like. I enjoy playing computer. Мне нравится играть на компьютере. I like uh, going out. Мне нравится ходить по клубам. I like shopping. Мне нравится ходить по магазинам. Or I like you. Ты мне нравишься. Одно из моих хобби чтения. One of my hobbies is reading. Or you can say my hobby is мое хобби. Рисовать. My hobby is to draw. My hobby и кибана. Привет! Приятно познакомиться. Hi, nice to meet you. Привет! Я Катюша. Приятно познакомиться. So you should try saying you say hello, привет. And then you say your name and then nice to meet you. Приятно познакомиться. The friendly you will be ты. And the polite you will be вы. So when you want to emphasize on someone being friendly and you just met, you say приятно с тобой познакомиться. Nice to meet you as friendly. And nice to meet you as polite will be приятно с вами познакомиться. Okay, so just a small uh, little touch for you. Hope it's gonna be useful. Я из Москвы. I'm from Moscow. Я из Америки. I'm from America. Я из России. I'm from Russia. Я изучаю русский в течение года. I've been learning Russian for a year. Я изучаю русский в течение года. Okay, how long have you been studying Russian, huh? I hope you're progressing with me. Я учитель. I'm a teacher. Я твой учитель. Or you can say a feminine way. Я твоя учительница. Я учительница. Я учу русский на RussianPod101.com. I'm learning Russian on RussianPod101.com. Yes, I said it. So you're proud. You just say, oh, I am learning Russian on RussianPod101.com, of course. Чем ты занимаешься? What do you do? Чем ты занимаешься? Hi, what do you do? Привет, чем ты занимаешься? Uh, what do you do can mean uh, what are you doing now, right now? Like you come back home and say, oh, what are you doing kind of thing. Uh, or you can just say like, you're asking someone what kind of job uh, work they're doing in their life. So it can be useful. Okay. Then ways to say hello. Let's start. And first ways, доброе утро. Good morning. 
Доброе утро. Good morning. Next. Здравствуйте. Hello. If you just want to say hello to someone, you can just say hello. Здравствуйте. О, oh, привет. Hello. О, oh, hi. Next. Давно не виделись. A long time no see. If you really have not seen someone for a long time at a meeting, you can say long time no see. Привет, друг. Давно не виделись. Hey, да, рад тебя видеть. Hello, friends. Long time no see. Hey, yes. It's good to see you. Next. Как поживаете? How have you been? If you meet with a person, you can ask him, how have you been? This will show you interesting that this person has well your up with green. Привет, как поживаете? Как семья? Привет, хорошо, спасибо. А у тебя как? Hi, how have you been? How is family? Hey, yes, all is well. Thank you. And you? Next. Как дела? How are you? The phrase how are you is the same as uh, how have you been. But how are you more often used in speech? Привет, как дела? Hello, how are you? Next, как жизнь? How is it going? Как жизнь? How is it going? Next, как прошел день? How's your day? This phrase you can say at the meeting at the end of the day. For example, the wife asks her husband about how's his day at work. Как прошел день? How's your day? Next. Добрый день. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, uh, usually greet is business correspondence or communication. This phrase is recommended to speak in the interval from uh, 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Добрый день. Good afternoon. Next. Добрый вечер. Good evening. Good evening in the same as good afternoon only. This phrase should be used after 6 p.m. Добрый вечер. Good evening. Next. Приятно познакомиться. It's nice to meet you. When you get to know a person after you have learned his name, you should say nice to meet you. Приятно познакомиться. Nice to meet you. Want to get cheat sheets, audiobooks, lessons, apps, and much more every month for free? Just click the link in the description to get your free language gifts of the month. In this lesson, we'll learn some of the most common greetings you'll use in Russian. Готовы? Are you ready? Поехали! Let's start! The most used informal greeting is Привет! Привет! Привет means hi or hello. We use this greeting when we meet friends, cousins or close relatives. Please keep in mind that it's a very informal greeting. If you're not close to someone or he or she is older than you, you should not use this word. Here's a more formal way to greet people. Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. This is a very formal greeting that can be used any time of day. As a variation, здравствуй can also be used. This is still a little casual, but much more formal than привет. Здравствуйте is actually a variation of здраво желаю, meaning I wish you health. So здравствуйте literally means I wish you to be healthy. Здравствуй. Russian also has equivalents to the English good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. They are доброе утро, добрый день, добрый вечер. They are similar to здравствуйте in politeness and formality. However, remember to use them at the proper time depending on whether it's morning, afternoon, or evening. Доброе утро, which means good morning, is usually used before 12 p.m. Доброе утро. The word dobre means kind. Russians don't say good morning, they say kind morning. The word utra means morning, 
So literally, this phrase means kind morning to you. Very sweet. Dobry den can either mean good afternoon or good day. Since the word Zdravstvite can be used at any time of the day, we will hear it more than Dobry den. But it's still a phrase you should learn. Dobry den. The final greeting is Dobry vecher. And we usually use it after 6 p.m. The word vecher literally means evening. Kind evening to you. Dobry vecher. Very easy, right? The usual way to say goodbye in almost any situation is до свидания, which literally means till the next meeting. До свидания. If you're on casual terms with somebody, you may also use пока, which means bye or see you later. Пока. The phrase you use when leaving someone in the evening or just before bed is спокойной ночи. This phrase works both for formal and informal situations. Spokoine nochi. You can now greet people in many different ways in Russia. Congratulations! Now it's time for Svetlana's tips. As I mentioned in our first lesson, Russians commonly greet each other by shaking hands or slightly nodding the head. What I want to add to this is that Russians are very superstitious people, so we never shake hands over the threshold between rooms. It's considered to be unlucky. So always go into the room first before shaking hands. Women usually kiss each other on the cheek three times, starting with the left cheek. Men hug and pat each other's backs. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to introduce yourself in Russian. There are a few ways to do so, depending on how formal you want to be. Let's first take a look at an informal way to introduce yourself in Russian. It's very short and simple. Привет, меня зовут Светлана. Очень приятно. Hi, I'm Светлана. Nice to meet you. Привет, меня зовут Светлана. Очень приятно. Start with the greeting привет. Then you introduce yourself by saying меня зовут. And then your name. Меня зовут Светлана. Finally say nice to meet you. The simplified and very casual phrase for it is очень приятно. The whole phrase will be привет, меня зовут Светлана. Очень приятно. Now let's take a look at more formal version for greeting and self-introduction. It's a bit longer than the previous one. You ready? Here we go. Здравствуйте, меня зовут Светлана. Приятно познакомиться. Hello, my name is Светлана. It's a pleasure to meet you. Здравствуйте, меня зовут Светлана. Приятно познакомиться. What has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a closer look at this together. First, we changed the greeting word привет to здравствуйте. It's very formal and official greeting which can be used any time of the day. Morning, afternoon, evening or even at night. Luckily, the phrase you use to introduce your name stays the same. Меня зовут Светлана. Next, after giving your name, you say приятно познакомиться. It's more formal, but can be used in informal greeting as well. It literally means it's a pleasure to meet you. Once more, the formal way to introduce yourself is Здравствуйте, меня зовут Светлана. Приятно познакомиться. In the sentence меня зовут Светлана, Меня is myself, and Zavut is to be called. So the literal translation is, I'm called Svetlana. Unlike English, where I would say, my name is Svetlana, in Russian we basically say, somebody calls me Svetlana. Interesting, huh? Now it's time for Svetlana's tips. It's common to shake hands both when you greet somebody and leave them in Russia. Handshaking is more common for men, but women also practice it a lot lately. And don't forget direct eye contact. It's very important in Russia. Good friends usually give hugs and kiss each other on the cheeks three times. Today we are going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Готовы? Are you ready? Поехали! Then let's start. There are several ways to thank people. Let's start with the most common phrase спасибо. Спа си Ба. Спасибо means thank you. 
To say thank you very much, you just need to add большое. Большое спасибо. Большое спасибо. Большое means big. In context, большое спасибо literally means big thanks. So when someone thanks you, how should you answer? There are several ways to respond to this phrase. One which is fairly close in translation to the English phrase you're welcome is пожалуйста. It's very common in Russia, but we also use another phrase quite often. Не за что, which means not at all. The word пожалуйста means something like please in English. Па-жа-луй-ста. In English, it sounds a little bit strange to say please when somebody thanks you, right? But by using this word, you're indicating that you are pleased to be helpful. Не за что means more or less the same thing as пожалуйста, but offers a little more courtesy. Say не за что. Не за что. One which is fairly close in translation to the English phrase you're welcome is пожалуйста. It's very common in Russia, but we also use another phrase quite often. Не за что which means not at all. Now it's time for Svetlana's tips. When saying thank you in Russia, body language is very important. Спасибо is the universal word and can be used in both formal and informal cases. You can make it sound more formal just by changing your intonation, like this. Спасибо. Friends usually act more openly and even slap each other on the shoulder in any case, it's very important that your thanks be accompanied with smile and again, direct eye contact. Спасибо! 10 responses to How are you? Now, let's begin! Давайте начнем! У меня все нормально. I'm fine. Now, how are you? Как дела? У меня все нормально. I'm fine. Спасибо, что спросили. Thank you for asking. How are you? Спасибо, что спросили. Thanks for asking. Thank you for asking. I'm fine. Как дела? Спасибо, что спросили. У меня все нормально. А ты? А у тебя? And you? How are you? And you? Как дела? А ты? А у тебя? I'm fine. And you? Как дела? У меня все нормально. А ты? У меня все отлично. I'm great. У меня все отлично. I'm great. And you? Я в порядке. I'm okay. How are you? I'm okay. And you? Как дела? Я в порядке, как ты? Я плохо чувствую себя. Я плохо себя чувствую. I'm feeling bad. Oh my god, how are you? Mm, I'm feeling bad. Как дела? Как ты себя чувствуешь? Я плохо себя чувствую. Я хочу спать. I'm sleepy. How are you? Uh, I'm sleepy. Uh, я хочу спать. Uh, how are you? Я тоже хорошо. I'm fine too. I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine too. У меня все хорошо. А ты? Я тоже хорошо, спасибо. Я неплохо. I'm not bad. How are you? I'm not bad. And you? Как дела? Я неплохо. А у тебя? Как вы в последнее время? How have you been recently? Как вы в последнее время? How have you been recently? Uh, maybe I will ask this question to my grandmother. And maybe she would answer, I'm feeling bad. Я плохо себя чувствую. Катюша, how are you? <laughs> как дела? 
Как дела? Как дела? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Мужчина и женщина разговаривают. Сколько мужчине сейчас лет? У тебя скоро день рождения. Да, послезавтра. Сколько лет тебе исполнится? Мне исполнится 60 лет. Поздравляю! Давай отпразднуем! Спасибо большое! Я буду очень рад. Сколько мужчине сейчас лет? Мужчина и женщина разговаривают. Сколько мужчине сейчас лет? У тебя скоро день рождения. Да, послезавтра. Сколько лет тебе исполнится? Мне исполнится 60 лет. Поздравляю! Давай отпразднуем! Спасибо большое! Я буду очень рад. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Парень с девушкой разговаривают. Кто живет вместе с парнем? Почему бы тебе не зайти ко мне в гости в ближайшее время? Спасибо за приглашение. С удовольствием. Расскажи немного о своей семье. Конечно. Мой отец – офисный работник. Его хобби – рыбалка. Моя мать – домохозяйка, и она очень вкусно готовит. У тебя есть братья или сестры? Да. У меня есть старшая сестра и младший брат. Моя сестра замужем и живет за границей, а брат еще учится в школе. У тебя очень хорошая семья. Я с большим удовольствием встречусь с ними. Кто живет вместе с парнем? Парень с девушкой разговаривают. Кто живет вместе с парнем? Почему бы тебе не зайти ко мне в гости в ближайшее время? Спасибо за приглашение. С удовольствием. Расскажи немного о своей семье. Конечно. Мой отец – офисный работник. Его хобби – рыбалка. Моя мать – домохозяйка, и она очень вкусно готовит. У тебя есть братья или сестры? Да. У меня есть старшая сестра и младший брат. Моя сестра замужем и живет за границей, а брат еще учится в школе. У тебя очень хорошая семья. Я с большим удовольствием встречусь с ними.